What is going on, Fight Fans? So we are going to continue Season 2 of Boxer's Road, The Real 2. I think I said that right. See, I know a lot of you didn't want me to stop this series. And although a lot of things are happening and we're leading up to going to ESBC to play that bad boy in like two weeks. I'm still on a journey. I'm still on a Boxer's Road journey to become undisputed in the cruiserweight division, then move up and become undisputed in the heavyweight division before I retire. So, I can't let you guys down. Let's go ahead and jump into this boxer's road for the second world title, the IBS at Boone. All right, here we are. We made weight 189 and 140. Pounds. So the, the weight was 190 uh, and below. So we made weight. We're good to go. Now let's get into this fight. Here we are at the Pusan Stadium. Um, this guy's from Argentina, apparently. Uh, he doesn't look Argentinian. That's just me. Uh, but still, that's, that's where he's from. So it is what it is. We came over here. Uh, to fight in this arena. I think this is an Argentinian place, or I could and be wrong. Um, but yeah, this is, is going to be a good fight. This is going to be a good fight. Match. Yeah, that's your boy, Boxer Fanatical. So now I chose, in, in this one, I chose to go with a simple look, but a stylish look. Black, all, uh, almost all black, with hints of the little, you know, accents of white. Even chose to make the gloves black this time instead of uh, white, like I normally do. This is my opponent here, Pablo Simone. He has fought 26 times and won 26 times with 26 KOs, so he knocked out everybody ever fought, and he only has one loss. Actually, he does look a little Spanish to me. He does look a little Spanish Argentina, to me now that I see him. United States. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem. All right, we're going to go ahead and skip this. Of course, we got the United States national anthem. See the flag back there. Go ahead and skip this. Now it's go time, baby. It's go time. We got no time for this. It's go time, baby. It is go time. Let me just make sure everything is recording correctly. Yeah, we got all right. Cool, 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 cool. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Touch gloves. I am so small for this division. It's not even funny. Oh, it is not even funny how small I am for this division. I have to box these guys. Uh, I fought for the number one contendership. Uh, the fight right before this, and man, I, I it went to decision. I won cleanly. On the decision, I was getting tagged though. I was getting rocked, but I couldn't take the dude out of there because these guys are too big. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the heavyweight division. I think I'm too small, bro. Like not just because of my weight. Obviously, I can get my weight up there. It's all about my nutrition to get my weight up there. But what I'm referring to is just basically the the uh, the stature, my size, like. Their arms are longer, their, their torsos are, are wider or taller, they're, they're taller overall, legs are longer. Like I'm literally a little kid almost compared to these guys. And it, it, it makes it tough, it does make it tough because I can't, it, it's very realistic in the fact that I can't just easily knock them out the way I was doing in the lower divisions. Just trying to work them with the jab. One thing that you should always do, especially in boxing road, is start aggressively using the jab, right? Or almost, almost exclusively using the jab. Because what this lets you do is, obviously, you're scoring. That's number one. You're, you're also dictating the pace. That's number two. But number three, without risking too much of yourself, without throwing so many punches that can leave you open for uh, counterattacks or for uh, combinations, you're also gauging how your opponent fights. So I want to see, is this guy an aggressive guy? See right there, he went for the body, but he's taking his time. I can see, okay, he's taking his time. He's not super aggressive. So maybe later down the line, I'm banking on these things. I'm putting these in a mental bank, and later down the line, I could be a little bit more aggressive. 
maybe I can angle him a little bit more and come inside because I know that he doesn't fight too aggressive. But this game is very uh, smart. So they try to subvert your expectations. People will come out with different game plans, be a little bit more aggressive. Let's not forget Ray Lennard. Man. That dude That dude was genius in the ring. And that's the only reason why both of our fights were draws. I, the only person I've never uh, was able to defeat. Uh, I almost had 50 fights and I was never able to defeat Ray Lennart. So the game is, is really smart in being able to subvert your expectations. So you're always on your toes and paying attention to your opponent. So right now, he's still showing me that lack of aggression. Uh, which you know, to a counter puncher, believe it or not, when a person is a little punch shot, that's what you want. You, you kind of want that. You 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 can deal with if they're crazy punching, right? But if they're punch shy, that means the punches are coming at a very controllable, very relaxed pace. So you can do what you need to do, counter when they throw, and dictate the punch, dictate the fight, and, and come off first and, and get off first, basically comfortable because you know that they're not going to be so punch at and like this guy see i'm jabbing him to death right now see, i threw i threw a straight right right there threw a straight right right there didn't land it but really i'm focusing on jabs i'm focusing on jabs threw that punch away you gotta love this game you gotta love this game. body shot You're not expecting that body shot body shot with the jab come upstairs boom boom step back boom step back straight right right there see and then little taps, little taps here and there. Of course, you don't want to just jab. You want to add some damage to him, or you want to add more exponential damage, which will come from throwing more powerful punches like the straight right. Straight right and jab are literally my favorite punches because of how much control you have and how safe you are when you throw them, and they shoot from a straight line, you know what I mean? You'll throw the hooks and stuff like that, get around the guard and things like that, but I really enjoy this using that jab, just hammering away at that jab, which is what I'm doing right now to this man. So, we're gonna get a little bit more aggressive, but what I wanna do is I'm gonna switch the block, right? I'm switch the block so I can get in closer, and here we go. Well, show, show us some jabs. See if he, see if this makes him a little bit more aggressive. This game is that realistic. You throw the block up, it makes them feel a little bit more comfortable to engage. And this is a tactic that's using real boxing guys. Throwing your guard up entices your opponent to throw more punches. I'm using my guard to you to counter him more, right? To use that as a way to counter him more so he can throw and open up. Even though I'm landing my jabs, I want to land more substantial punches, so I want him to give me more. He's a little bit too conservative for me, so I'm going to throw that guard up. Throwing that guard up right there, so he's got that guard up. Got him working. Got him working. I see if he throws a little bit more with the guard up. Boom, caught him with the left hook. See what I mean? Open him, opening him up. Opening him up. That's the beauty of this game, man. That's the beauty of this game is the AI is actually pretty smart. It's probably the smartest AI I've ever seen uh, because they adapt. They don't just do one thing that's like, oh, this is the really, this is like, for example, other boxing games, they'll, be, they'll make hard mode just doing, just the fighters doing the hardest things possible to work with. But here's the problem. What happens when you master that hardest thing possible to work with? Then it's not hard anymore because you can time it, you know what it is. This game is super dynamic where the the uh, the coaches are actually changing the style of the fighter in game. They're changing the style of the fighter in game. Now we're gonna switch up. We're gonna switch up back to Sway. Switch up back to Sway. Hopefully he got he got more punch happy. You know what I mean? Got him a little bit more comfortable. Now I can slip and move. Slip and move. So, yeah, it, it uh, um, like I was saying, uh, you could even create a, a system where you don't play the game, actually. Um, you just coach and, and tell them what to focus on, what to do, what to look for in the next round. And you could, uh, and you could tailor it uh, round by round. So, uh, they're using probably that system based off of if they're being successful or not. It's a very genius uh, AI system. It's a very, very genius AI system. He's being a little bit more aggressive now. He's being a little bit more aggressive. Got him at the body with a straight right. He wasn't expecting that. He definitely wasn't expecting that. Ooh. Oh, I got hurt. I went for a, lung, a, lung, a lunging hook. He went for a lunging hook. Right there. That's crazy. Right after I went for the lunging hook. And I missed, and he counted me beautifully. 
That's why you gotta be very careful. That's why this jab is always your best friend. See it? See how this jab is keeping me safe? See how this jab is keeping me safe? I'm tagging him. Ooh, right there. Angled out to my left. Kept him confused. Oh, ooh, nice. Nice roll. Ooh, nice pull counter from there. Yeah, see? The jab is the safest thing, man. Once that... Oh, man. Am I getting hurt again? This is the thing, too. I'm probably gonna be getting hurt like crazy because I'm in a division where technically... I shouldn't be here. Yes, I ate the amount of food that I needed to eat to get up here. But technically, stature-wise, I should not be up here. I should not be up here. At all. Remember, I went pro. Man, how many divisions down? I went pro. I could have actually done the world title stuff down there, but I'm learning. I was learning the game. I didn't know how to get a world title. I was just getting a regular, uh, you know, regular... Uh, uh, national titles. Once I realized how to get a chance to go for the world titles, you know, now I'm, I'm on a mission. You know what I mean? Now I'm on a mission to, to become undisputed and, and uh, to be in uh, three division, three division undisputed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. Ah. Boom. That's a body. That jab is your best friend. See that angle? is beautiful right there. Boom, boom. See, comes in. Oh, see that step back? Clean, step back clean. You always gotta move your hands. Sometimes you can use your feet. Come on, come on. Oh! Oh! That counter was perfect. Is he getting up? Is he getting up? Is he getting up? Because I wouldn't get up if I was. Wow! Rarely do you get a perfect shot that just drops somebody in this game. Just like that, like without them being injured or nothing. Rarely. Wow, that was unbelievable. I loved it. And now I was working off of that um, uppercut. I wanted to land that uppercut off of his entry to see it just perfectly work to the point where it knocked it dropped him. Unbelievable. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ah. Ah. Still work the jab. See, this is where this is where people make mistakes. They get the knockdown, right? They get the knockdown. They get blood hungry. They get blood hungry. They want to get you out of there, right? Patience. Patience is the key. That's going to be the best thing for anybody, even when ESBC come out, man. Even when you're playing against real humans with human psychology. Patience is key. Because that's the stuff when you start getting out of your element, that's the stuff that makes you lose. The fact that I'm mad little. And I dropped this man. Did he hit me one time? Did I see one time? No, y'all don't have to rewind that. I think he hit me one time in that round. No, there's no way. There's no way. I must have read that wrong. I had to read that wrong. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, he caught. He caught. Yo, 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 yo. Chill, 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 bro. Here we go. Okay. See, now he he's fighting a little worried. He's fighting a little worried. See how he's backed up? He's not engaging. He's going for the body like that, and he's throwing kind of wild. It's because he's fighting a little worried. That's how realistic this game is, bro. It's not like none of these things just happen. Everything is programmed in the AI to to uh, to adapt to what's going on. Not just the way you're fighting, but also the situation. The fact that he got dropped got him fighting a little bit wild right now. See, even though he hurt me right there, he broke something or something, bro. I stay getting, I, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older, because uh, I'm getting up there in age, I'm getting up there in age. I don't know if that's the reason that I'm getting hurt a lot, or it's because of the, the division that I'm in. But uh, I'm still undefeated, still undefeated. I'm going to go 15 uh, and 0 with two draws, thanks to uh, thanks to the uh, the infamous Ray Leonard. But uh, yeah, I'm, I made it through his whole career without losing. And, and going for the world title. So it's not even like I'm just, you know, fighting a, uh, anybody and everybody. I'm actually going for the world title without having a loss, which is pretty amazing. And and this is my second go at the undisputed title. Ooh. Ooh. See how that's distance control too, man. That's me not going. I'm not going too ahead of myself. I'm not going too inside. To make it so that he has an opportunity, I want to frustrate him as much as I can. See how I'm the one that's being the aggressor? How I took the center of the ring? He rotated around me there. That's pretty cool. 
You see how I, oh, he's rotating around me now. Okay, so now I gotta be a little bit, I've gotta create a little bit more distance, keep him away from angling me. That's one of the ways that you defend against angling, guys. Creating distance, pull, pulling back. When you pull back, that makes it really difficult for somebody to angle. You just gotta be smart in how you do it. He's trying to angle me constantly right now. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I'm telling you, man, this game is, is super smart. So you always have to be on your toes. You always have to be uh, paying attention. See, see how he did that? See how he did that? You always gotta be paying attention to your opponents. I saw step with him, so I took it away from him. But bro, you always gotta be paying attention to your opponents. Jab, 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 boom. Come on. Oh, ooh, we bumped good, man. That's actually was pretty dangerous. I was leaning that way. Ooh, ooh, gotta love the physics system. My gloves was right there, so it blocked it. Oh, wow, nice, nice. That was a real nice jab for him. Boom. Double that jab up. Nope. Boom, come on. Ooh, nice. You see how he's angling me now? You see the strategy changes? You see how he's trying his best to adapt? He's also fighting somewhat scared. He's, he got himself cornered. He's got himself cornered. He, he, he's not letting, you see, he's fighting, he's definitely fighting with with a certain level of, of fear or, or concern for what happened from the knockdown. He's definitely fighting with that type of, because you can see it, you can see it. Look at him. Look at him. He got himself basically, his back is basically glued to the ropes and the corners. Look, 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 look. Uh, I, I, yo, I'm, I'm so amazed by the AI system that was used here. And I wish that one day this team that made this, Ertain uh, and uh, Grand Prix, I wish they could get together and uh, or come back or, or create a new uh, uh, company and make a boxing game, man. Boxing's on its way back, man. We got ESBC now, bro. Make a comeback. I would 100% buy your game. You don't even have to have the best graphics in the world, man. You're not, you're probably not gonna have ESBC graphics, but that's okay. As long as you improve on what this, what you created here, which is a masterful uh, game, my, my favorite boxing game, um, just with like with the total package, you know, and, and everything with the career mode and all that stuff, and how you control that career mode. I was wilding right there with, I was wilding, man. They could come back and bring a beautiful game to, oh, 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 what a straight right. Lead and drop them. Two, three, He's getting up. Four, He's getting up. Yo, these guys is tough, six, man. These guys is seven, tough. Lean, drop them. He's hurt though. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, he's fighting with desperation now. He's fighting. Yo, he got guts, man. This guy got guts. This guy got guts. He's not. He's not running away. He's there. And he's trying to throw more now. Remember how punch shot he was in the beginning? Remember how punch shot he was in the beginning? Look at him now. Look at him now. Oh, now he's getting punch shot again. Now he's getting punch shot again. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on, land it. Yo, physics base, bro. Just because they're there, don't mean it's going to land. You actually have to be in a correct position to land it. Ooh, and throw the correct punches. Boom. Let's go. Oh, boom, boom. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, blocked it with one hand through the straight right. Aha! Let's go, baby. One, two, three. Oh, this man not giving up. Wow, he got up right at nine. Whoo, that was round eight. I dropped that man a bunch of times. All right, here we go. Round nine. Round nine. Here we go, here we go. This man not even moving. This man not even moving out of that corner. He don't want none of this. He don't want none of this boxing fanatical work. Look at this distance control right here. Look at the beauty of that distance control. As soon as he moved in, I started moving my head. I knew when he was in range. I know when he's in, in range and when he's not in range. I think I just broke my hand right there. I think I just broke my jab. Maybe I was throwing it. <laughs> I was throwing it too much. Oh, he's moving slow too. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. He's in danger. I think he should be another uh, throwing towel situation right now, bro. I think he should be. A, he definitely should be another throwing towel situation. By the way, guys, that only happened the one time ever in my entire career. It just shows how robust his career is. That things can be discovered even for the first time after having more than 50 fights. With all of my fights combined, even my lightweight division. Oh, oh, let's get him. Boom. You know, he had to do that secondary shot. He bounced off the ropes. He ain't getting up on this one. 
And if he does, his corner will be it will be almost illegal for his corner to let him keep going. Yeah, he's done. He's done. Second world title, guys. IBS champion now. WBS champion, IBS champion. We got three more. The OEBA and uh OEBO, I think. And then we will be undisputed at the Cruiserweight division. Unbelievable! Wow, this was one of my favorite uh, dominating performances. Like, like I've had uh, other more crazier back and forth fights, but in terms of dominating performances, this was definitely, uh, definitely one of them. All right, guys, that was episode two of season two of Boxers Road Two. Wait, no, Boxers Road: The Real. Oh my God, Boxers Road Two: The Real. There we go. I got it there. Pieces me all the time. Listen, they, they, they're not the best title makers. You know what I'm saying? They're not the best makers of titles. But they're, they're one of the best makers of boxing video games. And this was a fantastic, uh, fun uh, match. Uh, just, just seeing how my opponent was adapting. But we're going to go to episode three next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope, I, I hope you guys are glad that the Boxers World Series.